What's up, peeps? We back for another Tony Baker movie review, but this time I'm doing the top 10 movies of 2017. Now, mind you, this is just my top 10. I haven't seen every movie. All right, I, I, I counted. I did the numbers. You know, I saw 49 movies in theaters this year. I saw a total of like 62 movies total that came out 2017. And mind you, this year was okay movie quality wise. Uh, some stuff I just wasn't interested in. Some stuff was just okay. But these are my 10, I guess, favorites of the year. Here we go. Number 10, Stephen King's It. It's coming in at number 10, man. This movie made mad money at the box office. I'm glad everybody is now on my page of being scared of clowns. I don't know what took y'all so long. They've been creepy as hell. What made the movie really work for me was the kids. Like I cared about the kids. They were funny. It was surprisingly funny. And I cared about the kids. And for a horror movie to work, you gotta care about the characters involved. And I think it nailed that. I saw it twice and enjoyed it twice. So that's why it's making it in the number 10 slot, okay? Number nine, I, Tanya. It's the movie about Tanya Harding and her uh, controversy with Nancy Kerrigan. Um, it was well acted, um, well done. The characters were crazy. Like I never really dug in. I didn't see any documentaries. I just went in fresh and was just like, okay. Never knew she went through all that. Never knew about the whole situation. I knew of it, but I didn't really dig in. I really didn't care. This movie made me care. I was like, wow. All right, number eight, Spider-Man Homecoming. This was, in my opinion, probably the second best Spider-Man movie ever. I still like Spider-Man 2 a little bit more, like when he fought Dr. Octopus. I really enjoyed that one. But Spider-Man Homecoming was well done. The kid playing Spider-Man is dope. He looks young, he's funny, he's silly, and it just worked. Like they didn't shy away from the comedy, which worked. I love the the diversity in the casting. It, like, you know, I felt like New York is a diverse place and it showed in the movie. So I appreciated that. Michael Keaton, first of all, Michael Keaton's one of my favorite actors. So anytime I see him, I'm all for it. Spider-Man Homecoming was definitely one of the best of the year for me. Mm good, -hmm. mm good. All right, number seven on my list, best of 2017, John Wick 2. I'm an action guy. First and foremost, don't get it twisted. Action is my favorite genre of movie. And I like John, I like the first John Wick, and I like the second one a little bit more because he had a worthy adversary in the second one. I like to see heroes struggle with somebody. And I got that in John Wick too. Go see people get broke off, shot in the leg and the head. That's all you need. And it's Keanu Reeves, man. What, what, what more do you want from the guy? The number six movie, Baby Driver. Edgar Wright is one of my favorite directors. All his movies are good to me. He hasn't made one yet that I haven't liked. Baby Driver is no exception. It's a dope like crime movie with a little twist, a lot of music involved. Just, just that extra flair that Edgar Wright brings to his joints. But it's different though. You know, it, it's not like Shaun of the Dead. It's not like Hot Fuzz. It's got its own signature on it. But you can tell it's Edgar, if that makes any sense at all. Easily one of the best movies of the summer. It felt fresh. Edgar Wright does it again. And that's why that's number six. All right, number five on the list, Molly's Game. I just did a review of this pretty recently. Molly's Game is one of the best of the year because it was good all the way through, man. I was intrigued by the story, the way it was told, the writing, the performances, everything was good. I was locked in the whole time and it made me interested about what, what happened in real life. I was shocked to find out that the real Molly was, she was attractive. I was like, okay, okay, I see why dudes hollered at you, okay. Easily one of the best of 2017, man. So check out Molly's Game, that's number five on my list. All right, number four. This is the movie everybody was talking about at the beginning of the year, man. Get Out. Get Out was one of those movies you had to watch. It was fresh. It felt current, you know what I mean? And it was just so original. It was funny, creepy at the same time, and it made you think. The performances were good. So everything just clicked and worked. And I can see why the movie was such a phenomenon, man. Like, the critics loved it. The audiences equally loved it. And they went back for more. It was just one of those rare movies, super low budget, made mad money. It was just one of those movies that like, yo, it, it like woke everybody up. Easily one of the best movies of 2017. Get Out, number four. Number three, Thor Ragnarok. Number three, 
that's my third favorite movie of 2017. Like one and two was like cool, but you know, it was something missing, it was too tight. This one, they just flipped the whole script. They put a lot of comedy into this, and the comedy actually helped. Like, the action was good, too. The comedy worked, because it was just like, you were loving the characters, you were loving the vibe. It was just a good environment in the theater. It was just fun. It was fun. It was like, man, I'm having a good time watching this movie, and that's what I felt like. I left the theater like, man, I had a good time. Like, that's a great feeling leaving the theater, man. So it was just a dope switch up and it paid off. And I like it when they take risks like that of a, of a machine that was already working. They was like, nah, we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna tweak it a little bit, even though it's already working. And it paid off, man. Marvel is killing it out here. That's two Marvel movies in my top 10. Number two, Wind River. It was just good, man. I was, I was all in the whole time. We got Jeremy Renner in there. It's got, um, what's her name, the Olsen, Elizabeth Olsen. And no, it's not a it's not an Avengers spinoff. It's not Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch do a serious movie. If you didn't check out Wind River, check that joint out, man. It's like, if you like crime thrillers like that, check it out, man. I love the crime thriller genre. And if you could throw a little bit of action in there too, oh man, I'm all in, man. I'm all in, man. It was gritty, it was rated R. I was all in, and I was like, yo, this was a pleasant surprise. There was no build up, it was no people pumping it up, and then I go and be disappointed. It was none of that. I was like, yo, this was a good ass movie right here. Excuse my language, but it was a good ass movie. And number one is Logan. Logan is my number one movie in 2017, man. I like the risk they took in taking a Marvel pick and just making it rated R. It, it was easier to do that with Deadpool because Deadpool is not. He's a popular character, but he's no X-Man. He's no Wolverine. Like, it took guts to be like, all right, we just gonna make this rated R. I'm sure when they brought that to the studio, like, how about we make it rated R? Because they're always worried about money, so I'm sure that was a nervous conversation. But once they saw Deadpool make all that money on the rated R tip, like, we, we gotta do Wolverine. Wolverine has always been a gritty character anyway. Like make him rated R. He can't he can't slice people up on a PG-13 rating. This movie, I finally felt Wolverine's rage, even though he was old and tired. He can really wild out now because he can just cut people up. And the little girl that played X2 cutting people up, I was like, yes. Hugh Jackman's performance is really good. A lot of people sleep on his acting skills because he's always in a lot of you know, bigger budget stuff, but the dude has range. I felt like he was really struggling to stay alive in this movie. Like, the physical struggle on his face, he really conveyed that. Now, I, I feel like he should be nominated for at least an Oscar for it, you know, because he really delivered in that performance. So those are my top 10 movies of 2017, man. Let me know your top 10 in the comment section below. Let me know what you felt like I left off. What would you add? What would you change about the top 10? Did any of my top 10 make it in your top 10? Do you got a completely different top 10? Are any of my choices ridiculous to you? Let me know everything in the comments section below, man. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.